Jamil Ahmed's on the line, Global Chief Market Analyst, Vice President of Corporate Development at FXTM. Uh, Jamil, it seems as though I chase you around the globe. Today you are in London, am I right? This is completely correct, and sometimes I even lose sight of where I am. It's, but it's always a pleasure to speak to you guys. It's one hotel room after another, isn't it, for you? Uh, <laughs> That's pretty right. Uh, global travel that you are. Uh, Jamil, let's get back up to date with markets starting, I guess, locally. Absolutely. So locally, we're seeing a little bit of caution and negativity in the markets. Nothing to be too concerned about. The Abu Dhabi Securities Market General Index has closed about minus 0.3% lower. The Dubai financial market is about half a percent lower. Uh, basically, guys, we've had a huge dollar rally over the past couple of days, driven by increased optimism that the Federal Reserve might be or might not be raising interest rates. But today, I think they could raise interest rates towards the end of the back end of this year. This is promoting some dollar demand and as such, making markets coming under a little bit of pressure. But guys, time to be a little bit more positive. Oil prices are near six month high. And before today's dollar demand, we actually saw local markets were looking a lot more positive. Um, internationally, what we're really focusing on right now, and it's an ongoing theme, is Brexit uncertainty. We're seeing a lot of um, volatility in the British pound and the British markets. Other stories include oil hitting a six-month high. We're now close towards $50. I don't personally think we're going to get there until the second half of this year, but if I was trading, I would watch out for the 48.50 area because this is where we might hit sellers. And tonight we've got the very uh, highly anticipated Federal Reserve Minutes where investors are basically going to be looking for further clues on when the Federal Reserve might actually be raising interest rates in 2016. This is driving the dollar demand today, which is positive for the Durham. We've had a little bounce in the British pound over the past hour because the exit poll has suggested that the Remain could once again be in the lead. But again, swings and roundabouts on this one, guys. We're just going to see a lot of volatility with the pound. Lower euro, lower Japanese yen. Again, positivity for the Durham because the dollar is now looking like it's regaining its demand. Jamil Ahmed, Global Chief Market Analyst, VP of Corporate Development at FXTM. Jamil, appreciate your thoughts. Uh, safe travels. Thank you very much.